Manuel Rivera Ortiz was a Puerto Rican photographer that is most known for his social documentary photography of people's living conditions in less developed nations. This is because he too was born into a family of poverty and wanted to show others very similar struggles to what he had to go through. His photography furthermore focuses on humanitarian issues that are often ignored by mainstream media. Many images from Ortiz's work are now in museums such as George Eastman House International Museum of Photography and Film, and his work can also be found at Columbia University's Joseph Pulitzer Graduate School of Journalism in New York City. In addition to that, his photos can also be found in several books, including the literary collection titled Voices in First Person, Reflections on Latino Identity, and Percepciones in Blanco y Negro. The work I chose to analyze are all explanatory images because they all pretty much tell a story. This photo is taken at a tobacco farm valley in Cuba and it is titled Tobacco Harvesting Valley de Vinales, Cuba in 2002. This image shows a family performing hard labor to farm the tobacco for it to be shipped around the world to make cigars. Families like this receive very little for the backbreaking work with the, with the rest of the profits from the sales going to the government. The black and white colors in this photo, which can be found in many of his works, bring out the bleakness in the image, along with the diffused light to create a sense of depth and dimension. The three children in the image stare at the camera and look somewhat distressed due to their poor living conditions. This image is important to show to the public to raise awareness for families stuck in similar situations like this. This work is titled Macarena, Widow of the Mines, Potosi, Bolivia, in 2004. In this photo, you can see an old woman staring at the camera. And this woman in the image once moved to Potosi with her husband for him to take a job in the mines to extract many types of materials. Working in the mines was very dangerous due to caves and cave-ins and other incidents, and miners generally did not have access to running water and were almost permanently coated in fine dust, meaning intimacy was often resulting in sicknesses, especially in women. And again in this image, the black and white uh, brings out disparity and other hardships that this woman went through, and the frontal lighting puts a main focus on the woman's facial expressions and lets the viewer think about all the trauma and poverty she must have went through. This photo brings to light the harsh conditions miners had to endure in these Bolivian mines and what their family and or wife indirectly goes through because of it. This photo is titled City Dump, Yamuna River Slum, Delhi, India, 2005. This image depicts a family with very little clothing on them, almost each of them without a shirt. The background consists of rubble and other trash very close to the Yamuna River, which is part of a larger river being known for one of the dirtiest rivers in the world. This is the case due to all of the city's waste being dumped into it. Even though this is the case, festivals are still held around the city, and, it, and this river, river is an especially sacred place for Hindus. However, the river causes sickness and possibly death if you step foot into it. The diffused lighting of this image creates a sense of optimism for this family and their future. The slightly blurred background also creates a main focus on the shirtless people for the viewer to think about the hardships they must be enduring. This photo is important to be shown to the mainstream media to bring light to the damaging effects pollution has on the Yamuna River and the families that once depended on the river for drinking water.